back through the wall of our garage, there's two inches of standing water in our foyer, and the cops are on their way to the scene of the crime. So let's get into it. So we had an Airbnb guest do over $26,000 of damage to our Airbnb. And you might be wondering, how on earth did that happen? Let's go back to early 2022. So we have this beautiful Airbnb in Omaha, Nebraska. And I'll leave the link down below so you guys can check it out but it's a townhouse, modern, uh, right downtown, close proximity to everything in Omaha. If you ever go, College World Series, Berkshire Hathaway. But the 1%, it's not a bad place to be. <laughs> so this guest messages me and he, he says, He's from Omaha originally, but he's currently living in Los Angeles and he's considering moving back to Omaha and he would like to stay at our Airbnb just to uh, reacclimate with the area, reconnect with friends and family and uh, scope out potential locations where he live. So we accept him. It's a seven day booking and all's right with the world. Nothing unusual there. But the first night he checks into our Airbnb, we get a message from the guest saying he had to call the cops on one of his friends that stopped by to visit him. So that was like red flag number one, that everything wasn't right with this guy. But I assumed, hey, he's. Maybe it was somebody from his previous life in Omaha. He's turned over a new leaf. He called the cops on him. He's a changed man. It's all good, right? That was not the case. Three days into his stay, he messages us again, requesting the Wi-Fi password. I was like, something ain't right with this guy. He must be... Go, 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 go. This is some good shit. You know, anyway. <laughs> then, day six, just so close to the very end of this guy's stay, uh, I get a message from my property manager in the middle of the night, and he tells me that he backed through the wall of our garage there's two inches of standing water in our foyer and the cops are on their way to the scene of the crime. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, the guest is making up some story about getting robbed and the person fleed the scene through the garage. And I'm like, robbed? What did they steal? And he's like, well, they came in and they stole some jewelry and his sneakers and then fled out of the garage and closed the garage door. This is the story he's telling my property manager and me. Obviously, that's not how it went down. The entire house smelled like marijuana. And it was very obvious that this guy got really high and couldn't tell the difference between forward and reverse on his vehicle. Hey man, am I driving okay? I think we're parked, man. Oh. So he backed up into the wall, caused all this damage, fled the scene, and we had to call the cops. So what, so what did I learn from this? We filed a claim with Airbnb to get the $26,000 repair covered. And that repair took almost six months for them to repay us 
or out-of-pocket costs. So it's really important that you keep a reserve for your Airbnb. Otherwise, you won't be able to complete your repairs in a timely manner and you're just gonna be out of money while your Airbnb sits vacant waiting for your air cover claim to go through. We ended up going through two different Airbnb representatives and Airbnb sends out their own independent claims adjuster to validate uh, what you said happened is what actually happened. And the costs that you incurred is in line with market costs for a similar repair. The second thing we learned is always call the cops. Airbnb wanted that police report to prove that it was a guest, that it was officially documented, and we weren't manufacturing a story about some damage that we had done to our own home. The third lesson that we learned is communicate via Airbnb's platform or text message. So there's a legal record of your communications back and forth with this guest, and Airbnb isn't blindsided by your claim. The fourth lesson is keep all of your documentation. If you don't have the documentation, then Airbnb is not going to pay you. So the fact that we had all the quotes, all the photos of the damage, all the photos of the repair, all in one convenient place that we could give to the claims adjuster to Airbnb is why our claim got accepted. If we didn't have that documentation, we wouldn't have gotten covered. And I think the final lesson is it's really important to have boots on the ground for an Airbnb. Whether it's your property manager, a handyman, a cleaning crew, a family member, having somewhere, someone who could go to our Airbnb, get the police involved, fill out the paperwork for the police report, coordinate the, ma the maintenance and the repairs was huge. I don't know if we would have been able to get through that without our property manager. That's it. I mean, it's the most ridiculous thing that's happened to me as a Airbnb host. A lot of times you'll get guests who will steal a hair dryer, mess up your towels, mess up your sheets. But this one took the cake. It was by far the worst thing that's ever happened with our Airbnbs. Leave a comment down below to tell me what you would have done if this was your guest at your Airbnb. And if you like the video, please subscribe. It helps the channel more than you know. And I love cranking out the content.